Happy Monday. Did you know words matter? I'm kind of a word guy, so they matter a lot to me. But last week, the entire country basically was talking about a word. Wood. Or was that wouldn't? Makes a little difference, doesn't it? The fact of the matter is, wouldn't doesn't make any sense in the sentence. But that's another story for another time. What I want to talk about is the power of words. Of course I think they're powerful, but they're very powerful in your life too. That's how people hurt you. That's how people help you. That's how people show disrespect or respect. I realize that the Me Too movement is about more than words, a lot more than words, and I support that. But the words are the way it starts. Did you read the story last week about the swimming coaches? For some reason, they think texts just disappear into the ether after they're done with them, and those words matter. I would just hope that people would take a second, just a second, to think about it before they blurt out a word. That's one of the good things about being a writer. You actually have time to think about what you're going to say. And you can even sometimes go back and change what you say. Of course, that doesn't happen after that word is printed, as I well know. And I make mistakes, obviously. And the only thing I can do is say, sorry, this is the correction. But it sure works a lot better if you get it right the first time. Coming up and saying, oh, I meant to say, doesn't work real well. So think about your words. Thanks.